1925 is pretty significant to the history of um, intelligence testing and IQ uh, in psychology because it is the year that Lewis Terman began or announced that he was going to conduct an experiment with over 1,500 uh, children in California with the IQ of over 140. Um, that he wanted to see if the IQ progressed or changed over time. Now, this test was biased. Um, there are statistics that show that there was a larger amount of white Caucasian boys being tested more than any other race, more than any other gender. Um, and in addition to that, the test was also biased in the sense that it held uh, at least one parent of every single child had to have had some kind of college education. Um, so financially, uh, there is like an economic difference there, like an economic bias, because not everybody can afford it. Now, the thing is though, this announcement of this kind of test blew up. Um, it grabbed the attention of many different people and influenced many high schoolers to volunteer for this test on their own. Um, the interesting thing about this test is that it encouraged and introduced statistical studies and longitude studies um, to Stanford University. It lasted about a minimum of 80 years. Um, a lot of these uh, students continued doing the test even after Terman had passed away. Uh, it was something that showed that IQ can change um, over time and that certain situations can affect how somebody's IQ is changed. Um, not all of the people who were tested during this experiment were extremely successful and wealthy and super fit or etc. Um, and so this study is monumental because it not only is one of the longest studies that requires statistical evidence to be done in the history of psychology in general, but it also shows different perspectives, different backgrounds, and it shows how the ideologies and biases of somebody can be proven through their own test, and that that's okay. Um, that that allow this that allows for further tests to be opened with less biases it opens up the inquiry of intelligence and iq and intelligence testing it opens the playing field for a more broader and a more structured and organized understanding of what statistical tests should require and need um, it's a way of people to be able to add on to this while sharpening the things that weren't ideal in the initial test, um, which is what it essentially does. Um, this study was so impactful because it hit a range of different people for so long that it does in turn open up further research um, in this specific topic.